you will find major themes in this film which are the themes to which I almost invariably return. Who is this? She was born on the 23rd of July 1968. At, sorry about this. Uh, yeah, at the Haven, Wells Grange Avenue, Sutton, Surrey. Families, family relationships, parents, children, having babies, not having babies. It's what life is about. And Secrets and Lies is at the core, the centre of, uh, of these uh, preoccupations. I don't have a script and I work at great depth and for a long time with all of the actors to create the world of the film. We built up this whole story about this girl who, in her adoptive family and so forth, and who then, at the point which we see in the film, uh, decides to track down and trace her birth mother. Listen, I don't mean nothing by it, darling, but I ain't never been with a black man in my life. No disrespect nor nothing. I'd have remembered, wouldn't I? I gradually build a scene through rehearsal, pin it down so that it's very tightly structured. And then what we did with that scene is we simply ran it and ran it. They rehearsed it and rehearsed it and we refined it and refined it. They reach a point when the performers, where they are so confident with it, where they know it so well, that when you actually do the take, it takes off. I'm sorry, sweetheart. There came a point when we'd shot four-fifths of the film, and then we got to the big question, OK, how does this resolve itself? That's me mate, all tense. Hi. That's me brother's wife. Oh, pleased to meet you. Monica. Hello, Monica. Yeah, well, come on out the back, make me brother. I set okay. up an improvisation, which lasted 10 hours. Ten. Morris and Monica preparing the barbecue, the others coming in actual, real time. Oh. There was real barbecue, real drinks, in and out of the house, it rained, all of those things happened. And my job is to sort of distill from all this something which is coherent, narratively and dramatically and cinematically sound. What do you do at the factory then? This looks really lovely, Morris, thank you. I hope it doesn't kill you. <laughs> There's salad service there, Cynthia. You ain't her boss, are you? No. Yeah, ER, sweetheart. Thank you. We built that scene up very slowly, very painstakingly, slice by slice. Because I knew that after that you go indoors and the truth was going to come out and there were going to be all kinds of reaction shots, it felt right for that scene to be one continuous static shot. But within that shot, if you look at it, there's all kinds of things going on. Um, they're at the barbecue, they're at the table, there's food. Of course, the whole time you're waiting for the shit to hit the fan. What are you doing working in a cardboard box factory again? I'm doing research. Oh. That's interesting. What sort of research? Medical. What you looking at her head? <laughs> <laughs> Take the notice. It remains the case that it is still illegal in many, many countries to trace your birth mother, including in 50 of the 52 United States of America. So for a very long time after I made the film, I received a huge amount of mail saying I was afraid moved by Secrets and Lies, it moved me to decide to trace my birth mother. I think what's so gratifying is its currency in terms of what it's actually about. Oh, this is the life, ain't it? Yeah. 